Hello everyone, I am Cindy from Cockpit Crochet. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this bedroom furniture. So please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. This bedroom furniture I will use it in my dollhouse, which is the project coming in this fall. So this house will include the interior decoration as this bedroom furniture inside and I'm going to teach you how to how to make this dollhouse for sure. Please see my update on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe me as well. Okay guys, let's move on to the agenda. In this video, I will teach you how to make the bed, also its components such as blanket, bed frame, mattress, and pillows. And also, I teach you how to make these small furniture, which are shelf with the book, plant pot, butterfly jar, and lantern, and also the nightstand with flower vase and the lamp on. Okay, let's start the first section, which is the bed. And this is bed, and I also made a summary chart of the bed component. You can capture the screen for your personal use only. Okay guys, let's move on to the mattress. For the mattress, you can capture the screen for this pattern summary for your personal use only. And now I'll show you for the first row make 14 chains and then the for row 2 make 1 chain and then turn make SC on the second stitch from the hook and then keep making 12 SC until you reach the last chain of this row make 3 SC in the same stitch just like this. Okay, after that, make 12 SC along the line until you reach the end of this row. Okay, make 12 SC. You can also see the chart on the left hand side, on the right hand side, in order to see the reference. Okay, after you finish 12, 12 SC, make increase on the last stitch. So the total, you will get 30 stitches. And then for row 3, we will start off with 3 SC in the same stitch, just like this. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 3 SC in the same stitch. And then after that, make 12 SC along the row. After you finish making 12 SC, you will need to make 3 SC on the same stitch. 1, 2, and 3. Alright, and then make 1 SC. And then for the next stitch, make 3 SC in the same stitch. 1, 2, and 3. Alright, and then for the Next part, you make 12 SC and then you can finish this row with 38 stitches. Alright, for row 4, make SDC and then make SDC increase. So the SDC increase means that you will make 2 SDC on the same stitch. Alright. Okay, and then make keep making 14 HDC along the line. Alright, after that, uh, after that, you will make HDC increase again. Okay, and then make 3 HDC. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, after that, make HTC increase. Okay, and then you can follow the chart on top of the screen. And for the edge of this row, you will have 42 stitches. Keep in mind that on back row only in order to create the range like this. Okay, then when you finish row 4, you will have 42 stitches. And then for row 5, this one you don't need to work on back row. 
405 make ATC first and then skip one stitch. After that, make 15 HTC along the row. So uh, you can see the chart on the right hand side of the screen for the left hand. So this chart, I, I draw it until row 5. Alright, then when you finish it, you will get 38 stitches. And then for row 6, for row 6, you will, you will actually repeat row 4, but for this row, you don't need to work on the back row. Only row 4 that you need to work on back row. Okay, when you finish row 6, you will get 42 stitches and then for row 7, you repeat row 5 and then you keep repeating until you have 21 rows. After that, fill in polyester fiber and also make another piece of the desk for row 1 to row 3 and sew it on the other end in order to close the method. Okay, you can sew the, the edge of two part together just like this okay this is how when you finish sewing them together all right you will get the the soft mattress and after that you will need to sew around each edge in order to shape the mattress into cube board shape so yeah keep sewing it yeah we need rectangular shape like this let's move to bed frame structure as you can see we will have the base the front legs the headboard legs and the headboard slot so we will have the base y and the headboard y and also the headboard slot so you can you have to cut as the specified length uh, first of all, cut the base Y. For two of them, you can cut 18 cm long and then four tabs. So each piece will have like 9 cm long. Okay. And you can wrap the Y just like this. Okay, and then uh, we will need to make the legs and the leg base. You can capture the screen for your personal use only. So to illustrate how you make the legs, you will make a uh, magic green 5SC and then make 5SC for the total of 5 rows and then put it on both sides of the folded wire and then bend the wire as follows. Okay, so this is the base wire and the distance between each leg is 6 cm okay and after that you can make the base board you can capture the screen okay let me show you guys here so after you make 20 chains you will join on the leg by making sc on the leg like this make sc on on one stitch of the leg you can also refer to the chart on the right hand side of the screen. Okay, after after you make one SC on the leg, uh, we will need to work on the chains that you made. And when you work on this, you need to keep the Y inside the stitch as well. Doing so, you will need to put the hook into the chains. Put the hook into the chain like this and make sure that the hook is below the Y. Okay, I put the hook into the chain, make sure the hook is below the Y and then make a C. Okay, here we go again. Put the hook under the Y and then make a C. So this method will 
keep the Y inside the stitch just like this so make it until you complete 20 SC Okay, I complete 20 SC already and last thing of this row is that you may to join by making SC on the other leg as well. So I put the yarn inside a stitch of a leg and then make SC. Okay, now I finish the second row already and then for row 3 to row 15, it is quite simple. Just make one chain and then turn and then make 22 SC on each row. And then you need to complete this step until you have 15 rows. Okay, keep doing so. Yeah, and after you finish row 15, you have to join another side of base. Why? In order to four legs of this bed like this so for row 16 we will do the same stitch as row 2 so when you do that join 1 SC on the leg first and then make 20 SC on the main board by doing so you need to put the hook below the Y and then make a C in order that the Y will stay inside the stitch. Alright, and then lastly, you need to put the hook into one stitch of the leg and then make a C in order to join all of them together. Okay, now we finish it. And then for the headboard legs, you need to join the yarn on two side of the of the leg so i will show you how to do this just slip stitch the yarn in on one stitch of the leg and then make four sc because one stitch have already taken when you make the 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 base right so just make four sc around the leg After you make 4 SC, you will need to skip one stitch because that stitch have already taken by the base. So for to skip that stitch, you make one chain and then skip it and then join it on the other side in order to skip a stitch for the spade for the Y. And then you continue from row 7 to row 20 with 5 SC around. And and then cut 14 cm y and then fold half and then insert the y into the headboard leg just like this and then sew the mat press on the bed frame Okay, after you finish sewing the mattress on the bed frame, you will need to make the leg beds for six of them. So we will sew two bases uh, under the under four legs and then sew two bases on top of the headboard leg as well. Okay, just sew all of them on the legs. Okay, for the last part is the headboard slot. So you need to cut the Y for like 4 cm and then work on the Y. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. Cut 4 cm Y each and make 12 chain 
at the next wheel chain, you will need to make one chain and then turn and then make SC on the second stitch from the hook. Keep making 12 SC along the chains. So you need to do the same step as you work on the base. Uh, you need to put the hook under the Y and make a C in order that the Y will stay inside the stitch. Okay, put the hook under the Y. Just like this. And then keep doing it until you have 12 SC. Okay, and then need to make two of the headboard slots and then assemble every part together. So I recommend you uh, using the, the Y to insert on each headboard legs like this and then sew them. And now we finish the bed frame and then you need to make the pillow and the blanket in order to cover. Okay, let's move to the blanket part. For the blanket, you will see you have two part components which are checker sheet and heart sheet. Alright, this is the pattern for the checker sheet. You can capture the screen for your personal use only. And I will go into the detail of how to do this checker sheet. Alright, and for checker sheet, you will start off with uh, 33 chain and then make 3 chain and then make DC for 3 times with pink color and after that change the color into white and make 3 DC in white okay and then uh, repeat this set until you reach the end of this row after that uh, fasten off to end this row and then for row 3 slip stitch the yarn in make 3 chain so for for the end of each row, we will fasten off and begin the next row with slip stitch the yarn. And after that, uh, make 3 DC in red. Okay. Don't forget to work on back loop only. And after making 3 DC in red, you will change to pink and then keep changing until you reach the end of this row. Don't forget to work on the back loop. For row 5 to 11, keep repeating row 3 to 4 and then after you finish fasten off and turn the sheet upside down and start working an extending row on the other side of row 1. So for row 12, I call this row 12, you slip stitch the yarn in and then make 33 HC on this row and then fasten off like this. Okay, let's move to the heart sheet. This is a separate sheet. You can capture the screen for the summary of the pattern here. Alright, for the first two rows, just follow the pattern. But for the third row, which is the heart, you will need to mark the stitch as follow. So each heart will be 5 stitch distant from each other. And this is the heart chart. You will start off with uh, slip stitch the white yarn on the particular stitch and then make one chain and then make one HDC like this and then after that make DC on the same stitch okay DC all right and then after that make one chain okay one chain and then slip stitch on the same stitch like this and after that, make one chain and then make one DC still on the same stitch, right? Okay, one DC and then make one HDC. Okay, one HDC and then make one chain and then slip stitch on the same stitch so the whole heart you only need to work on a particular stitch and then you can fasten off you get something like this and then after that sew around the base of this heart so you will make a total of five hearts and then sew the base just like this 
okay now you get the kill fight hard on the sheet and then after that for row three slip stitch the pink yarn in make three chain and then after that make dc before reaching the first heart you will make another dc so it's a total of two dc before reaching the first heart okay and if you can notice that one heart will take the space of three stitches so in order to make the third row you will need to skip some stitch as well after you finish two dc make one chain and then skip one stitch and then make one hdc on the middle of the heart just like this because you will need to skip one stitch in order that it will be space of the heart also after that make one chain and then make dc so make one chain first and then skip one stitch and then make dc so between each heart you will make three dc okay now i finished the first set you will need to repeat this for five times to cover five hearts and then you can you can also see the chart on the left hand side of the screen at the reference all right and then for the next row after you finish uh, you have to fasten off and then for the next row slip stitch the yarn in and then make 33 sc on this row so uh on this row you when you make sc uh you need to make sc on the on the chain as well all right so keep making sc until you have 33 sc okay when you finish you get something like this all right and then uh for next two row which is row five and row six it is nothing difficult you just make two chain and then turn and then make 33 hdc along the, the row for two row and then after you finish these two row you can fasten off Okay, after you finish the heart sheet, you will need to uh, attach it with the correct side of the checker sheet. So first of all, you turn the correct side of checker sheet and the wrong side of heart sheet, just like this. And then you just sew them together, like this. okay after you finish sewing you will get this all right and then after that you just uh, need to make the border from the border you can capture this screen for the reference and this is how i can show you so you can slip stitch on the right corner of the checker sheet first and then make two sc on each row so the first row you make two sc like this and then you will see the pink area on the next row make two sc okay and so you have right uh making keep making sc on the border so the total of two sc on each row you will get something like this and then just continue working on the other side by slip stitch the yarn on the right corner of the other side and then make two SC on each row as well. And finally, you will need to sew the, you will need to fold the heart sheet on top of the checker sheet and then sew them together. Yeah, you can sew the edge of the heart sheet to the checker sheet like this
and then after that sew the blanket on the bed starting from both sides so you cover both sides just like this first yeah we will start by uh, sewing on the sizes first all right and then when you finish sewing on both sizes you will need to sew at the foot sew the blanket at the foot side of the bed just like this all right when you finish it you will need to sew around the corner yeah after you sew that sew the blanket corner just like this so they will have the shape like this on the corner of the blanket all right now we finished the blanket and after you sew it it will look like this very cute indeed okay guys let's move to the pillow section we will have the total of three pillows the big one and two small ones so you can capture this screen for all summary okay let's start with the big pillow for the big pillow just uh follow the instruction and you make two sizes and then overlap these two, two sides together and we will make the border by joining two sizes together first of all just slip stitch the yarn in and we will make sc allow this border but on the corner we will make increase instead okay so i you can start anywhere uh, around this but i should to start on the on the longer side first and please notice that on the corner we will make increase but on other sizes we will only make a C and on the short side uh, there are two rows so we will make a C on each row so basically we make two a C on the side and then uh, on the corner we will make increase just like this okay and then you can just complete the other sides by making a C okay after you complete three sizes you can fill in polyester fiber and after filling polyester fiber you can just complete uh, making a C around the last size all right when you finish you get this okay and after you finish you will make uh, the sewing around the tip of each corner in order to make the pointed shape just like this okay and then let's move on to the small pillow this one is the hard pillow you can actually just follow the code i wrote on the screen there will be the mixture of of white color and pink color so uh, this pattern will make the shape of the heart and there are some codes that you need to mix between uh, half white and half pink or half pink and half white as well all right so just pay attention to the code i wrote on the screen and also uh, you need to fasten off after you finish each row and slip stitch the yarn in on the right hand side of each row just like this because we only want the correct side in front of the pillow okay when you finish you get something like this and then also make the back side as well but for the back side you don't need to worry much you can basically make pink plain pink color and after that uh join both sides together using the same method by making a c around the border of of two layers but on the corner you will need to make 
increase as well. Okay. Okay, after you finish three sizes, uh, just fill in polyester fiber and then complete the last side. Okay, when you finish, you get something like this and then you need to embroider the outline for the heart as well. You can uh, follow the method I am doing right now. Okay guys, this is how I finished the heart pillow. Really cute indeed. Okay, then let's move on to the checker pillow. For the checker pillow, make two sizes. Uh, we will have the same pattern for both sizes. And then after that, we will sew both sizes together. And after you sewing it, be sure to fill in polyester fiber. And then we can just place three pillows together on the bed like this and then you can sew them on the bed all right now we're done with the bed all right start off with the shelf so i also write a summary here so you can capture this screen for your personal use only so for the component i will separate it into top back and bottom part which are connected together and then left right and middle part are the separated part also you need to cut the Y for 6.5 cm long as the main structure this is a pattern for the back top and bottom part uh, they are connected to each other you can capture this screen for your personal use also these are the sizes pattern and also the midden shell pattern these are the illustration after you finish the back part of the shelf continue making top and bottom part by continue uh, or you can also uh, slip stitch the yarn in and then make 15 SC on the front row only So slip the yarn in and then make 15 SC along the front row. As a result, it will create a separating line between the back part and the top part of the shell, like this. Then finish all the parts according to the pattern I shown previously. Then cut the Y for 6.5 cm. And then this is the main part which are connected between top, back, and bottom part and then the sizes okay and then for top and bottom part and then attach them with sizes so when you attach them you will need to solder why why attaching it so i recommend you start from the back part and then uh, insert the Y while you are attaching so when you sew the back shell and the side together insert the Y in the middle like this
you will get something like this after you finish attaching the the back part and the sizes together and then uh, for the top and bottom part and sew them to the sizes uh, using the same method that you need the Y to be in between both sizes and then just sew them like this after finish attaching you will get this result and then finish four sizes of it and after that when you finish attach the middle part in the middle of the shelf and then you finish the main shelf let's move on to mini books so you can capture the screen for this summary of pattern over here but it's for personal use only This is a detailed explanation for each part. First of all, we start with the spy, and then after you finish the spy, you just keep continue making the front cover by making two chain and then turn and then make six DC on back loop only. As you can see, working on the back loop will result in the separation line between the spy and the front cover. After that, for row 5, you will keep making the front cover, make 2 chain and then turn, and then make 6 HDC on top of row 4. And after that, you can fasten off. Then for the back cover, just slip stitch on the other side of the spy and continue working the same as the front cover okay you will get something like this and then we will need to make the pages inside the book uh, then i suggest you cut the multiple pages of 1.5 times 2 cm and then fold them half after that just sew all the pages together using the white thread then attach this pages inside of the book by sewing it. Also, uh, for the first and last page, you can attach them to the front and back cover as well. Lastly, use the hot glue or fabric glue to hide the messy first pages. Okay, now the book is done. Next, let's move on to butterfly jar. This is the pattern summary. You can capture the screen for your personal use only. This is the illustration of the monarch butterfly. First of all, start with magic ring and make two chains. So this is the first section and then Make a lip stitch on the second stitch from the hook and then for the last make a lip stitch on the ring all right we finish the first section after that continue the second section make three chain and then a lip stitch on the second stitch from the hook and then sc on the next chain and lastly make a lip stitch on the ring like this all right now we finish the second section and then for the third section make three chain slip stitch on the second stitch from the hook and then make sc again on the next chain and after that make slip stitch on the ring all right now we finish the third section and then for the fourth section make two chain and then slip stitch on the second stitch from the hook like this okay like this and then make a lip stitch on the ring all right and now we fasten off after that you just need to pull the yarn in order to fasten the ring and then it will create the shape of a butterfly just like this one 
Then for the decoration, we will need to embody the body part and the wings border using the light back thread. To embody the body, we need to wrap the back thread around the middle of the butterfly and then for the head, we will need to embody on the top and then just create something like this. Alright, and then after that, for the wings part, you will need to embroider the border of the wing using the back thread as well. You can do it as follows. Okay, when you finish, you will get this butterfly, very beautiful indeed. And after that, you have to make the jar. For the jar, you will need to use a plastic sheet to cut it in the following measurement and then turn it into the cylinder. First of all, make the lid. For the lid, uh, it's not very hard. This is how I cut off the plastic sheet for 4 cm times 1.5 cm centimeter. And then you need to pierce the sheet using the needle for about two holes. That's it. And then just throw it into the cylinder. Like this. In order to uh, secure the shape, you will need to use the adhesive tape to wrap around. And then make a lid, magic ring egg SC, and then egg increase. And then sew the lid to the plastic jar because I have already pierced two holes so you can use that hole for sewing it on like this all right and then you will get something like this if you're not sure it is going to attach you can use the glue as well and then attach the butterfly into the lid using the transparent string because uh, we will make the butterfly look like it is floating on the jar like this okay now we are done then let's move to the lantern for the lantern you will have the total of four steps for the first step make the components the second step attach all part together the third step you will use the 0.5 mm follow wire to insert as follow and then step 4 insert the tiny light and this is the step 1 you need to capture the screen for the pattern for each part there are total of 4 pieces and then a plastic sheet oh. let me show you how to make piece number 4 for piece number 4 make 9 chains first and then slip stitch to form the loop and then for second row, you will need to make 9 SC on those sheets. This is how it looks like when you finish piece number 4. After that, make piece number 3 as the following pattern and then attach these two pieces together. I would recommend you to leave the midden hole for the fairy light. And then for the plastic sheet, cut the plastic sheet for the size of 2 cm times 1 cm and then roll it into the cylinder shape. After that, use the adhesive tape to glue the shape together. And then you will get the cylinder just like this. Alright, after that, you will have to sew your pre-made pieces together with the plastic sheet as follow you can just sew them by only one side you don't need to sew them for the whole the whole area just a little bit on the back side like this mm -hmm. 
and then continue making piece number two and after that attach piece number two to the cylinder on the top of the cylinder like this after that make piece number one and then attach it on top of the other lantern and after that uh, you will need to insert the follow y as follow so this is step three already so you insert the y through the top part of this lantern and then just bend it at the following also just bend it at the following and maybe you can uh, work for two layers after that you will need to use the dark brown yarn to wrap around the wire you can keep wrapping like this Okay, this is how it looks when you finish wrapping the dark brown yarn around the wire. And then you can continue for the other sides as well. Okay, this is how you finish this. You can keep shaping for a little bit. Alright, and then we are done with a small lantern and then for the next part we can use the fairy light to insert through the middle of the lantern uh, for this part uh, i will recommend you that you finish every component before doing so okay and then uh, for the butterfly jar you will need to do the same thing that you need to run the right through it when you finish all the component and then put everything on the shell because you need to insert the light through the shell as well okay then let's move to the plant pot for the plant pot you can capture the screen or pattern summary right here this is for your personal use only we will start from the tree pot for the teapot, use a white yarn and then start with Magic Wing 8SC and then for the second row, you are going to make 8SC on back loop only Okay, after you finish the second row, then continue third fourth and fifth row as follow for the last row you are going to make a 12 slip stitch around after you finish the three pot you can move to the plan for the plan i will make a total of five leaves uh, and also I will combine many colors such as dark green and light green in order to make this plant more realistic uh, for the first leaf I start with six chain and then turn make increase on the second stitch from the hook and then make a C all right make a C and then make a C again and for two large chain you are going to make two slip stitch yeah and make a C again now you can see that I change the color to dark green again and then make slip stitch two slip stitch until you reach the last row just like this and then you can continue the second leaf by making nine chain and
and as you can see i also change the color when making chains as well okay keep making chains until you have nice chains all right now i have nice chains i will turn and then make hdc on the second stitch from the hook okay and on the next stitch i will make increase uh, okay after that i uh, make sc sc and then sc and then for three last stitch make make slip stitch on each stitch and then you can finish the second leaf then follow the following code and finish the total of five leaves as follow after you finish five leaves just sew all of them together and to tie to shape it as the following shape and then uh so sew them together and put these plants into the three pot all right after you finish sewing uh, five leaves together you can put the plants into the teapot as follow and then sew them together okay let's move to the nice stand for the nice stand you can capture the screen for your personal use only so this is the pattern and uh, as first, you need to cut the Y for 6.5 cm long and bend the end of the loop like this. So, this is illustration for the legs of the nice stand. Cut the follow Y for 6.5 cm and then bend the both ends into the loop like this and then for the Y half as follows. And after that, we are going to work on the for the loop here by making three SC on the loop just like this so I basically just a lip stitch the yarn on the loop and then make three SC like this and after that you are going to make five SC on the Y so basically you will need to um, put the hook under the Y and then just pull the yarn and then make a C like this put the hook under the Y pull the yarn yes you will make 5 SC and then you repeat the same thing on the other loops and leg and then after you have two of them you can continue working on the joint part of the of the Y making 3 SC and then lastly make 3 SC on the loop you can refer to the chart on the left hand side of the screen you will see that you have 3 SC on the joy part of the Y and then 3 SC on the loop okay now you will finish the legs if you look like this you can bend the legs as follows After that, make the, the top part uh, following the the shown pattern, and then after that, you will get the circle, and then just sew it on top of the legs, just like this. Okay, let's move to the lamp and the flower vase. This is the pattern. You can capture the screen. There will be two parts: the body part and the shade part for the lamp. 
all right let's start with the shade part first of all make a wheel shade and then slip stitch to form the loop like this and then go to the second row make two chain and then make a wheel hdc around and then after you finish the second row you will make slip stitch to then go on the third row make two chain and then make three hdc and then hdc increase and then repeat this set for three times after that make a slip stitch to the end of this row at the end you will have 15 stitches and then for the fourth row you will make three chain and make a slip stitch on each stitch in order that it will have the ruffle end of the shade so you will repeat this step for 15 times and then you will get the ruffle around the end of the shade like this all right and then now let's move on to the body if it's not very hard you can follow the pattern i wrote on the screen and you need to insert the furrow y to the height of the body part of the lamp just like this Then sew the body part to the shade part like this. Alright, then let's move on to the flower vest. There are two parts, the vest and the flower. The vest is quite simple, but the flower, you will need the follow Y and bend one end with the loop. And then work on the loop to make the flower. I don't have any illustration, but this is my vest and the flower. So after you finish it, you will just need to insert the flower inside the vest like this. And when it is all done, you will combine all of them together. Sew the waist first to the nightstand and then sew the lamp on top of it, just like this. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and share and also don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.